Hi guys, I'm Randy with BRS TV and today we're exploring the BRS two-part options for supplementing your tank with alkalinity, calcium and magnesium, helping you decide which one you may need, as well as walking you through a few simple steps to get it up and running on your reef. Using two-part alkalinity and calcium is one of the easiest ways to replenish essential major elements in your tank, which are depleted as your corals grow. Not only is two-part very easy to use on your tank, but it's also scalable from small nano tanks to large tanks with hundreds of gallons, which is why we stock our BRS two-part additives in single sizes that can make a gallon of each solution, as well as large bulk seven-pound sizes for those with larger demands or who simply want to stock up. We source some of the highest quality materials for our soda ash and sodium bicarbonate, calcium chloride, and magnesium sulfate and chloride, all of which are produced using pharmaceutical grade raw materials that are independently verified with the strictest of standards. That means buying it direct will not only get you more, but provide you with a higher quality at a lower price. And because we package it in-house using resealable pouches with a proper moisture barrier material, it's able to be stored almost indefinitely. Lastly, we help to make implementing BRS two-part even easier through the use of our reef calculator, which takes the guesswork out of calculating your dosage, as well as provide you with recommendations on how to mix and dose your required amount. Although we do offer each two-part component individually in the single use and bulk sizes, many find it easiest to start with one of our total packages, which include everything you need for dry chemicals, as well as some helpful tools like measuring cups, funnels, mixing jugs, hand pumps, and in some packages, BRS 1.1 mil dosing pumps. Typically, if this is your first time using a two-part additive to maintain alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, you may find it simplest to choose one of our two-part total packages that come with pre-measured pouches of all three components. With the pre-portioned packages, you'll get six pouches of soda ash, six pouches of calcium chloride, and a single pouch of magnesium mix. All you have to do is rip open the pouch and add it to RODI or purified water to make a full gallon of solution. One quick note about the pre-portioned pouches, since magnesium doesn't deplete as quickly as the alkalinity or calcium in the tank, you should only need one gallon of magnesium solution for every six gallons of soda ash and six gallons of calcium chloride, both of which are typically dosed in equal proportions. For those of you who don't mind measuring your own dry components and mixing them in gallon solutions, you can save some money with our BRS Total Bulk Packages that include seven pound resealable bags of soda ash, calcium chloride, and both magnesium sulfate and magnesium chloride, which can last some reefers nearly an entire year. If you opt for one of the bulk packages, there are specific mixing instructions for each dry chemical listed on the pouch, which are very easy to follow. There are numerous dosing and two-part accessories available to choose from, so much so that we have an entire category dedicated to them specifically on the BRS website. However, if you don't want to wade through each one of them, here's a few accessories that we recommend to be the most beneficial when starting a two-part dosing program for your tank. One of the most important aspects for dosing two-part would be the accuracy of each dose based on your tank's specific needs for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium. Following that logic, it's equally important to know what the levels are in your tank so you can set the correct dosage equal to the consumption rate of your corals and inverts. This is where an accurate set of water test kits are instrumental, like these lower cost options from Salifert or a kit like this from Red Sea, which includes all three. After you begin to notice the effects of dosing two-part to your tank and decide that the daily dosing by hand becomes more work than you'd like to do, dosing pumps and containers can help to automate the task for you. Dosing pumps like the BRS 1.1 mil per minute doser may be the most cost effective option and is specifically designed for low speed dosing which can be easily programmed by a simple timer or by adding them to an aquarium controller like the Reef Keeper or Neptune Apex. There are also other options available that include multiple dosing heads and built in programmability like these from Bubble Magus or if you already have an aquarium controller like the Neptune Apex you could add the Neptune Dose which is probably the most accurate and flexible dosing pump in our industry. For storing your pre-mixed alkalinity and calcium solutions, when you're using a doser, you could utilize mixing jugs themselves for the dosing reservoirs, or pick up these slim one gallon jugs for a more sleek option, where all you have to do is drill the lid and install a Murloc bulkhead and some acrylic tubing and dosing lines. You could also opt for these pre-made dosing reservoirs like these from Trigger, Vertex, Bubble Magus, and even these from Neptune that when coupled with an Apex and Dose can tell you when your solutions need to be refilled. 
Here's one last accessory that the BRS team finds very useful. If you automate your two-part dosing, you can use dosing line holders like this magnetic one from Vertex or a hang-on style like this from Bubble Magus, which can help to manage your dosing line so you know that the dose goes in the same high flow area every time and helps to make the setup look cleaner and more organized. In order to start your two-part dosing, you'll want to mix the solutions, test your water's current parameters for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, and make any necessary adjustments. We'll first mix our solutions by simply opening a single-use pouch and adding it to a mixing jug three-quarters of the way full with RODI or purified water, shake it up until it dissolves completely, then fill the jug until it's full. You may notice a bit of the salts or powders left at the bottom of the mixing jugs, which is normal and can be typically fixed by floating the jugs in warm water and shaking them occasionally until the salts disappear. With your solutions mixed up, you can now test your tank's current levels for alkalinity, calcium, and magnesium, which we typically shoot for 8.0 dKH for alk, 420 parts per million for calcium, and around 1350 for magnesium. If you find your levels to be lower than those recommendations, you can use our reef calculator to determine how to correct them. Simply enter your total water volume, which is your tank size, plus sump, minus the rock and sand. And don't worry about getting this number perfect because your estimation will likely get you very close and you can make minor tweaks later on. Now you can enter the results of your test and get an accurate dosage amount needed to raise your tank. For example, if I had 100 gallons of total system water volume and tested my calcium levels at 380 parts per million, I could input that into the calculator, enter my target of 420 ppm, select the BRS Calcium Liquid Solution Pharma Pouch, and find that I need to dose my tank 409 milliliters. Following the directions in the calculator, I'll dose that amount, wait about a half an hour, and retest my tank to confirm the results. Now do the same for both alkalinity and magnesium with the drop-down choices for BRS Soda Ash Liquid Alkalinity Pharma Pouch and BRS Liquid Magnesium Mix Pharma Pouch respectively and retest your water to ensure that you reached your desired levels. One last thing for initially adjusting your tank, you'll notice dosing instructions on the reef calculator for each two-part component which recommends not to raise your levels more than a certain amount in a single day. In which case, if you find you need to dose over these recommendations, you may want to split the total dose over the course of a couple or maybe even a few days. With my tank levels adjusted, I can now figure out my daily dose, which is very easy by following some simple starting dose recommendations found in the BRS two-part dosing instructions. If your tank is predominantly stocked with LPS and soft corals, which is usually considered on the lower end of alkalinity and calcium demand, you can start by dosing 0.2 or 0.3 milliliters per gallon of water. So for a 100 gallon tank, I'd start my dose at around 20 to 30 milliliters per day. In the same frame of mind for medium demand tanks like those with LPS and some hard SPS corals or even a clam or two, it's best to start your daily dose at 0.4 to 0.6 milliliters per day, like 40 to 60 mils for a 100 gallon tank. Finally, with tanks that are pretty heavily stocked with SPS corals in larger colonies, using a milliliter plus per day is a great starting point. These dose recommendations should get you pretty close to your daily demands, but may need to be increased or decreased based on your individual tank by testing the tank and adjusting the dose. Since alkalinity and calcium are typically consumed in equal ratios, my calcium dose should be equal to my alkalinity dose, so I can start by dosing them equally. There are instances when they may not be perfectly matched, in which case you can easily make subtle adjustments over time as needed. Something to note about dosing these two elements, they can precipitate if dosed at the same time or close to the same time, in which case many reefers choose to dose the calcium component in the morning and the alkalinity component at night. Magnesium is even easier to maintain in your tank as it doesn't deplete as quickly as the other two components. All I need to do is dose 20 ounces of my magnesium solution to my tank after I've used up one gallon of alkalinity and calcium, which means a single jug should end up lasting me quite a while and that's it. Let's talk about ongoing use and maintenance of your two-part dosing. As your corals continue to grow or you add even more to the tank, your demands for alkalinity and calcium can change. In order to keep up with those demands, all you need to do is periodically test your water parameters and make any increases as necessary. It's best not to stress too much over slight swings in your tank's levels as corals can thrive in a pretty wide range of both alk and calcium and your parameters tend to swing throughout the day. With that in mind, fluctuations within a tenth of a dKH or a couple parts per million is pretty normal and you really only need to make adjustments when you start to see either one is trending upward or downward. Thanks for watching and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.